you may be amazed to know just how many couples find themselves caught in a sexless relationship. And these people may be your friends, they may be your own relationship. On an everyday level, these relationships may be very functional, look very good and appear very happy. But people who are in a sexless relationship find themselves deeply unhappy, sad and even lonely. Now, there is a way to start again. It is distinctly possible, even if you, like many, many couples, have gone 20 years, more than 20 years, without being intimate, there is still a way to start again. It requires some inner work, it requires some secret keys, if you like, that I've discovered in my work and in my consultation room as sexless couples have come to me over the years for help. Let's outline some of those. First of all, a couple who wants to start again will really need a commitment to radical honesty. And this requires courage from both partners. Of course, it requires essential love for each other and it requires the will from both partners to reconnect around intimacy. So radical honesty is the starting point. One of the main reasons why this commitment to radical honesty is so important if a couple is going to reconnect intimately is because in a long-term relationship there's a need to reinvent yourself and that relationship on some regular basis. Some of the reasons why couples find themselves in a sexless relationship are things that happen to them because of the nature of life. Childbirth can be a, a time in a couple's life where they lose touch with intimacy with each other. Why? Because they were man and woman, now they become the mother and the father of each other's children. And that's a different relationship. And so what's required is a reinvention of the intimacy within that relationship in order to rediscover man and woman once again. There is the whole uh, aspect of responsibility and domesticity which can rob a couple of the thrill, the excitement, the anticipation, even the time to be intimate. There are of course financial stresses and problems. There are family problems. There is potentially physical illnesses. There is body altering surgeries, there's the toxicity of arguments and fighting and disagreements. There may be infidelity or betrayal to overcome. There can be irrational destructive jealousy and there is simply the aging process. There are these and many other reasons for the need to reinvent the relationship and reinvent each other, oneself, when in a long-term committed relationship. Third, there's the need for a couple to agree on 
what approach are they going to take in order to recover their intimate and sex life? Let me explain. For a long time now, traditional couple counselling and relationship therapy has worked on trying to help the couple to work through the issues in their everyday life in order that they may be able to agree on issues and finally be able therefore to reconnect sexually. That is a slow route that may never actually work. A more radical, a rocket ship route, if you like, to reconnecting sexually and intimately is to work on discovering, rediscovering the sex life and then the couple discover that their agreement on the issues of life become easier to reach. Next, and closely linked with this approach that is right for you, is to decide and talk together about your sexual philosophy. For example, many people who are caught in a sexless relationship will rationalise it by saying, of course sex isn't everything. And they may be told by therapists and counsellors, well sex isn't everything. And of course, I know what that means. There's washing up, there's work, there's finances, there's children, there's a whole host of things that make up a relationship. And of course there is love required at the heart of the relationship. But in an intimate sexual relationship, sex and intimacy is the foundation of that relationship. In that sense, sex is everything in a sexual relationship. It doesn't take up 100% of the time, it takes up a, a small percentage of the time. However, it is the foundation of an intimate relationship. And if a relationship, an intimate relationship, loses that foundation, it turns into something different. It becomes a friendship. And it's good to have your spouse as a friend, but they should be your lover first and foremost. Next inner powerful key is for a couple to be able to connect with the masculine energy and the feminine energy that is inherently needed to be able to have that powerful blend of masculine feminine energy. Now in my experience I find that many, many couples who are having intimate and sexual problems have found themselves in the reverse energy. So many men caught in a sexless relationship find themselves disconnected from masculine energy. And being disconnected from masculine energy, it means that the female partner has nothing to respond energetically to. So she might feel that she has to step into the masculine energy role. In those cases, intimacy will dwindle away. Now, I'm not talking about roles, and I'm not ultimately even talking about genders, because same-sex relationships still need the combination of masculine and feminine energy. Now if you don't like all this talk about energy, think of electricity. You've got the plus sign, you've got the minus sign. Put them together and the lights come on. And that's actually what I mean by masculine and feminine energy. Next, if there are sexual dysfunctions within the relationship, then it's important to own them and to seek help and get 
the dysfunctions resolved. There is help, treatment, and ways to overcome these problems, whatever they are. Lastly, on our list today of powerful inner keys to reconnect intimately is not so much surrounding how much sex you and your partner are having, but what type of sex you're having. Are you having the type of sex you want? Are you having the type of sex you need? Are you in actual fact having the type of sexual relationship you want? The type of sexual relationship you need? These are important areas to be radically honest about and to find help to be able to discover and connect again in your relationship. I hope that this talk has been helpful. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and please share this. You never really know who needs help. This is David Brown. Thank you for listening.